this is Mike with Mike's Carburetor Parts. I made a quick video, or I'm making a quick video, I should say, uh, about how to do a quick test on your accelerator pump. And why would you want to do this? Well, if your engine is hesitating when you step on the gas, then uh, this test is a quick way to determine if it's accelerator pump or, or something else. And the something else might be the uh, distributor advance in particular. Uh, I'm not going to go down that road with this little video. We'll just uh, talk about the accelerator pump circuit. So first you, you want to need to warm up your engine. Uh, you can't do this test cold because you may not have the uh, right amount of gas in the float bowl. So warm it up, then turn the engine off. You don't want to look down the carburetor with the uh, engine running. You might burn some of your hair if you get a flashback. Uh, remove the air cleaner, of course. Make sure, uh, and then make sure the choke valve is open. Uh, the throttle might be keeping the choke from opening up. So uh, if it's closed, then uh, just open the throttle just a little bit and uh, uh, let the choke open. If it still doesn't open, then you got a problem with your choke. Okay, so uh, pump your throttle to wide open while looking down the carburetor. And uh, uh, so you should see the squirt right away and what you want to you want an immediate squirt when you start to accelerate so let's say for example you go a, a quarter of acceleration and then you see a squirt well there's your hesitation right there uh, from the get-go you're not getting a, a squirt of gas so and i should mention now uh, why do you need a squirt of gas well uh, when you're going down the road um, and you step on the thro throttle uh, you're getting a lot more air through the carburetor and uh, not enough gas. So what the accelerator pump does, it squirts a little extra gas in there so you can get over that little hump until you start cruising again. Okay? So as I say, you should see a strong immediate squirt from the main discharge. And on most carburetors, that main discharge is located uh, towards the top of the carburetor in the bore. And basically, it, it it's located so that it shoots fuel into the uh, carburetor bore. Now in some four barrels, uh, that discharge may be located in between the primary and secondary bores and because it may squirt in both of them, uh, sometimes at the same time. Okay. Uh, how many streams you get depends on the carburetor. A one barrel uh, will have one stream and a two and a four barrel will have at least two streams. Some four barrels may have the discharge in the middle and squirts in both primary and secondary, and uh, uh, that will probably be, most of those will have a primary and a secondary pump. So one I can think of right offhand is, is a Holly, some of the Holly four barrels, you see it has two accelerator pumps on it, so you get a stream in both of them. But uh, typically most of them, one barrel, one stream, two and four barrel, two streams, okay? And uh, if, if you're getting a good stream and then uh, and you're, you do have an acceleration problem or a hesitation, then uh, you'd better start looking at uh, most likely ignition. Okay? So what if you're getting not a good squirt? You're not, excuse me, you're not getting a good squirt. Well, you might have a, a clogged accelerator pump passages. Your intake or discharge check ball may be missing or not sealing. Your accelerator pump might be bad, or it could be the wrong one. Uh, we run into that all the time. Okay, so this video here is kind of a general overview uh, how most carburetors would work and how to test most of them. Uh, if you want to get more information about your particular carburetor, go to our website right down here and click on uh, the technical link in the upper. It's right up here on our website. And it'll take you to uh, a page with that lists all the different carburetors on there. And uh, click on your carburetor and just follow it down. And most of them will have some information about the accelerator pump. So there you go. Uh, thank you for watching. We do appreciate your business. And uh, see you later.